The Koitake cattle farm is venturing into other promising businesses. Apart from breeding cattle, the farm is eyeing agriculture, timber and dairy to suit its business interests. The aim of the initiative is to increase employment opportunities and to utilise the large area of undeveloped land. The new projects will benefit a majority of the local people. Mark Kayok with this report. The Koitaki cattle farm outside Port Mosby is eyeing other promising businesses. The second largest cattle farm in the country took the initiative to diversify its business interests as part of the management resolution to maintain the farm and its operations. Operations manager Chris Sadler says with the valuable asset of about 5,000 hectares of land, it wants to capitalize on that to develop various specialized industries. But we just, um, we have the, the scope here and the land and the ability to be able to diversify and that's what that's the company's looking to diversify to, to, to take advantage of some of the other shortfalls in, in various other industries as well. The breeding of cattle is a long-term program. The new business initiative will help generate revenue. Sadler says the first production of trees will come into swing next year. The company is also looking at enhancing production of vegetables through its high-tech hydrophonic facilities and the establishment of a proposed dairy farm soon. But as the company expands with new and brighter plants, there's also a need for more and improved facilities, better accommodation and wages of staff. Concerns have been raised recently about staff losing their jobs. Because uh, company has not come out clear on us yet, so we are still in the dark. We are still asking, when is the company going to come and uh, answer to us? You know, these are the type of things. But Mr. Sedler said all issues concerning staff have been considered and cattle farming will still remain. He says one of the reasons forcing the company to diversify its business is to create more jobs for the local people. That's why there's a diversification into some of the other areas to ensure that, that staff security is, is, um, is going to be maintained and um, we won't be relying on just the one business. We'll have other areas of, of revenue coming through there. The farm generates quite a substantial cash flow from the current 4,000 heads. Mark Kayok, NBC National News, Port Mosby.